Hello everyone, welcome once again to another episode of People Helping People. And today I wanted to bring to the table a very important subject that hits home for many of us and that we can't take for granted. We're talking about addiction. Why addiction? Um, I've seen in America at least a lot of people who are day by day struggling with these issues and uh, it's very sad. Uh, it's very sad that in my personal opinion this problem is never going to be eliminated. Um, people will always have reasons or excuses to engage into self-destructive behavior and perhaps it's just a, a, an issue of ignorance, you know, they don't know any better. The fact is that people get involved in these things and, um, you know, family members and people who care about them uh, have to struggle seeing their loved ones put themselves in a place of no return. It's like when you're seeing somebody drowning and you can't help them. And it's a slow process for some people and usually it ends up in a very fa fatal uh, in a fatal situation, but there's no point of return. Um, if you can prevent putting yourself in a position where it's going to be um, difficult for you to get back from, I strongly recommend you that you need to take steps towards changing that behavior, um, owning your uh, behavior as well in terms of the decisions that you make and assuming responsibility of those actions because a lot of people uh, are in denial for starters. I mean, to use the term of addict, addict or to come to terms with the fact that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, for a lot of people it's very difficult. They don't have the understanding and they don't have the, um, perhaps the courage to admit to themselves and let alone admit to others that they are wrong and that they need to change their lives. But it doesn't end there. It's not only recognizing their uh, issues, but also understanding that you're not a super person and that you have to reach out for help because in many cases it's very obvious, but to everybody is except for them and that's very interesting to me um, the people choose to live in denial rather than own you know the consequences of the actions and they start blaming everybody because of this and because of that at the end of the day guys it, it does have to do a lot with the character of the individual but I'm not here to judge. I'm here to provide a venue where people can vent, people can reach out. And as I stated before, let us be a space where people can help each other out. And um, who knows? Maybe we can actually create some change. Now, since we already are aware of the fact that we have no control over what people do, uh, over the decisions that people make and what goes on in a global aspect in society. We have to start from a very small point. And this is where I'm at. Um, creating awareness. And yes, there is hope for those of you who are willing to take the first step of admitting uh, that the life that you're living perhaps is not the one that you really want. And um, making sure that you are proactive in reaching out for help if you realize that you can't do this by yourself. On the other hand, we find people who are way, way, way into this hole. And for them, it's very difficult to get out of it. You know, they don't find their way out. And sometimes they don't want to because they prefer to live uh, in denial of reality. And that's a very dangerous place to be. 
obviously it's a matter of perspective and also um, a lot of people forget when they make these decisions and engage into self-destructive behavior that you have relatives and people who care for you. Um, you know, at some point or another, um, it's going to affect them, you know. And I see this every day. And I think we need to start um, acting proactively and stop this pattern where we become victims of circumstances. It's about time that we need to uh, assume a role of um, empowerment and recognize that we are not perfect. Everybody makes mistakes, but it doesn't mean you have to be stuck. It doesn't mean it ends there. We have the power to change our reality. We have the power to create a different type of life. And yes, it may not be up to me, but if you find yourself in a position where you are becoming codependent of a substance, or someone even, it's, a, it's important that you recognize your signs and um, you start acting uh, ag uh, actively, you start acting aggressively to change that. Nobody knows you better than yourself and um, I really think it's important not to allow yourself to become in a statistic and um, yes there are other ways to cope with the stress um, a lot of people don't know how to manage your stress and I cannot stress uh, no pun intended uh, enough that if you uh, have uh, certain limitations or certain triggers during the day that create anxiety, that create uh, stress in your life, find a way to diffuse that. It's all about managing your energy, finding ways to channel that. Perhaps you want to work out, perhaps you want to run, perhaps you want to focus your energy into something productive, but be conscious about it. Be, be conscientious and be self-aware of what's going on because the biggest problem, again, is when you don't know what's happening with you and when you are in denial I mean like you don't recognize okay what am I doing to myself you know I don't see an awful people questioning themselves about the things that they should be doing instead uh, and also um, I want to say uh, if you're engaged into a self-destructive behavior you know be a little more considerate to the people who did not put you there and I'm talking about your circle of influence. Um, a lot of people care for you and it's not fair, you know, that you're messing up your life. In the meantime, they're trying to pull you out and, you know, it gets to a point sometimes that they can't help you anymore. But by the same token, um, I will say to those of us who may be in the influence circle, um, we need to be more compassionate. Uh, we need to be patient because it's obvious that these individuals have circumstances uh, and you know certain issues in their personality that we don't know that we can't assess we're not uh, professionals that we are able to you know start telling them oh, why don't you do this and why don't you do that I mean the best we can do it's you know don't forget that they're uh, children of God and they deserve to be respected, they deserve to be loved. Um, I know at times they could be annoying, they could be challenging, they could be um, difficult, but also um, we need to operate from a place of compassion. And in that encounter, hopefully they will see that they have no need to be aggressive or to put themselves in a position when somebody is being kind to you, you are um, you're not appreciating. I don't know. I just thought it was important to bring that to our attention. I'm not going to bring in statistics and talk about studies and what is happening in America. We all know. We leave it. We see it every day because it's that common. And it starts with something as innocent as having emotional codependencies or 
even a smoke and a cigarette, somebody will tell you, hey, why don't you try this? And then it, it, it escalates. And yeah, I'm not saying that you should not live your life. All I'm saying is, if you can find ways to cope with your stress, find different options. Engage into behavior that may not be self-destructive. And why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt. I, I see people that, you know, they choose to channel their energy through sports. And there's nothing wrong with that. Or, you know, be more creative. Do stuff that won't hurt you or anybody else and what cost you that much money because you see besides the investment uh, on emotion and energy health you know um, that you are um, making you know because you're being affected in all these areas you're also affected in a financial aspect which is one of the most important ones it's not cheap to maintain an addiction it, and it doesn't have to be substance. It could be just to say something, you know, sexual addiction. A lot of people have different issues. Again, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to create a space f for conversation. Again, I want to thank you for being part of this uh, movement. And I want uh, to leave this with a note where um, we try to reach for one another and help each other out. That's basically where I'm at. So please um, drop a line, um, you know, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hang in there in whatever location you are in terms of whether you are a person who's struggling with addiction or you're a person who's helping someone with addiction. Hang in there. And don't give up and don't lose your faith. Reach out for help. And that's all it takes. Alright guys, until next time. Don't forget, this is Annie again from another episode of People Helping People. Take care.